This is the reason why I always say learn to forgive and forget. Because most of the time, some people actually hold on to the past to the extent that everything they do in future is affected by what has happened in the past. Don't bother guys, you are going to understand every single thing I mean by the time you listen to what has happened in this video. And please do well to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let this video be a very interactive one because it's actually going to help so many people out there, especially people who have decided not to forgive those that have done something to them in the past. Welcome again to this channel. I hope you all are doing fine. I hope you all are doing all right. Feel free to please subscribe. If you want to join the family and get updated about every latest update concerning your favorite celebs. All right, guys. Thank you for subscribing. So we're going to be talking about what happened just yesterday. Okay, guys. So it might interest you all to know that this particular nurse called Folashade Adesina she can't take need to put for picking eye. Yeah, a one month old child. She did this particular thing to this child just one day after the baby was born. I mean, one day old, not one month. Sorry, guys. This baby was actually born. So while the mom was on her bed, um, this woman came telling the mother, okay, so the father of this child has come. Give me the child so I take him to, I take the baby to see the father. So the mom decided to give the baby to this nurse so she could go give the baby to the father. Naim, the nurse, come take needle, put for picking eye. Okay, so while this woman went to do this, they actually realized that one of the lenses of this baby's eye are no more functioning properly because she had seen when this woman came back to give her this baby, she had seen some differences in this baby's eyes. So this nurse, actually when she was in the university, she had a carry over yeah she had a carry over while she was in the university so she decided to do this thing to this baby thinking that it was the mother of this baby that made her carry over yeah she thought the woman was a lecturer that taught her during her university period there is no justification for what she did guys imagine even if it was this baby's mother what did this baby do like, why didn't you actually do it to the mother? That's the question everyone out there is asking. So, the mother's baby, according to interviews, I will read in her words, where she said, I was actually surprised to hear this because I am not a teaching staff of the university and I have no business with student scripts. So, how could I give her a carry over? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that really, really funny that this woman had actually mistaken the, this woman, this baby's mother to one of her lecturers that gave her carry over when she was at the university. Yeah, guys. So it might interest you all to know that this woman actually studied at the center of the National Open University of Nigeria. That is the noon. And she's currently working at the Usmanu Danfodio. Danfodio University Teaching Hospital in Sokoto. She's working at the Osmano Danfodio University Teaching Hospital in Sokoto. And this is where she actually did this thing. See guys, there is no justification for this woman's action. For what she did to this little baby. And trust me guys, this is going to continue with this child. Imagine you being born just one, one day old and somebody does this to you. The child growing up to know that they are not okay because of someone, because of what someone did, thinking that it's their mom that did it to them. Like, the story is actually very confusing. This particular woman thought the newborn baby's mother was one of her lecturers while she was in the university studying her nursing. Little did she know, did she know that this child's mother has never been a lecturer, has never even worked with any school, and does not know anything to do with this woman. This woman has actually been put at behind bars for more investigations and we are waiting to hear from the news, waiting to hear what the, the people have to say. Personally, I think she has to pay for it for as long as possible because there is no justifications for her actions. Carry over or not, this baby is innocent. This baby did nothing. She's such a pure soul. An angel like... An innocent baby, one day old. Oh my God. Some people are actually going to have it hot with God because God, I don't really know. I don't really know what's happening to this world. 
But guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think should happen to this woman? Leave all your thoughts and all your comments, everything down in the comment section below. Please, please subscribe. Do well to learn how to forgive people. Because if this woman had forgotten and um, for, had forgiven the, the lecturer that did this to her, she wouldn't have gone ahead to do this to this baby. Leave your thoughts right down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and stay tuned. To think of everything, guys. Even if this woman is actually put behind bars, it's never going to bring by the sight of this little princess. I don't know what she did. Like, I even tried to understand what happened and I still can't wrap my fingers around everything. Imagine what Chidima did recently to her sugar daddy and everybody was like, Chidima did this, Chidima did this. Please, Nigerians, wake up and see what this woman has done. Wake up and see what somebody has done to a one-day-old baby. My God. I don't really know. I don't know the level of everything happening right now. I feel like really, really, really the end time is near because the things happening right now, they are so... I can't wrap my fingers around them. I don't know if it's that God is actually watching us or he's silently just ignoring everything that people are doing because trust me, what people are actually doing right now, they are not really, really okay. If this kind of thing were to happen to your little angel or your little baby boy, what would you do, guys? What would be your reaction? Try and help the mother of this child find a solution because she's she also knows that if she acts in a certain way, people are going to be like, why are you doing this? You're not nice. You're doing this. And it has to do with her baby. Who doesn't love the baby? We all love babies. Not to talk of the ones we gave birth to. So guys, please be careful out there. Please share the message of forgiveness. Please spread love. Please love others as yourself. Because if at all this woman had loved this little baby, she would not behave like that. Above all, you have to love God. Because when you actually know God, there are so many things you restrain from doing. Because you know that God is good. Because you know the kind of principles God has given. And if you are a student, it's okay for you to pass and for you to fail in school. You must not pass always. If you are given a carryover, it's because that is what you deserve for not studying hard. So you are not supposed to actually keep it as something in mind that you are going to repay the lecturer in future because they gave you a carryover. Success is earned. Success is not giving out Jara. It's not for free. It's not grand not. So guys, please, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe and tell me anything you think right down in the comment section below.